Of course, any Pinoy will recognize the composition, which is what makes Tim Dizan's version interesting. She managed to come up with something different, refreshing, and even multicultural of a painting that has been done over and over. Her version can also be appreciated by non-Christians or someone who might be antagonistic towards the faith. Even though the artist retained the composition, she has taken the religiosity out without compromising the solemnity. From being a last supper, it's become just a gathering of people. The bread at the center can even appear like a crystal ball to the uninitiated. Instead of sacred Christian elements, she filled the long table with mostly tropical fruits, loaves of bread, croissants, and cups of which the contents we have no clue. In the Last Supper, we can easily tell it's Jesus, but here we have a clean-shaven, bald-headed guy with long hair on the sides. Removing the religious theme from this picture, the halo can be the sun putting them in the outdoors instead of the upper room. The wavy vertical lines at the bottom are the crops in the field. I like how these are made individual portraits based on the patterns of their robes. They bring to mind the various ethnicities not only in our country, but in Southeast Asia, Asia, and the whole world. It's like saying everybody's invited to the table and be yourself. We don't have to conform. Bring your culture, bring your heritage, or bring the culture or heritage that you like or admire. Just be who you are. It's either that or it's a costume party. Whatever it is, Dizon has certainly stirred my imagination. Paintings that bring something new to an old subject are essential. Art is essential. Mm -hmm.